Mae from Long Island, and I'm here to show you how to make the most amazing lasagna. I usually use the big pan, but I'm gonna go with this one. And of course, you have to make sure you clean out your dishes when you haven't been using them too often, but I'm gonna use this yeah, size of paper. These are the most amazing homemade noodles. This is why I probably get the most greatest reviews and raves of my lasagna, because they are homemade. This is prep. This is regatta cheese. Um, everybody says it all a little different. Some says regatta, some says regatta, regatti. You know, it all depends on how you put, how to say it. But this brand is very important because if you can look, it's covered, but it's more the fresh regatta. That makes the big world of difference than the standard kind you get in the supermarket that are like eh, men's and men's. So we want the best of the best. And you can buy this usually in most Italian, um, I guess we'll call them Italian pork stores. A lot of them have it. Sometimes you can find it like in a Whole Foods or an Uncle Giuseppe's. They may have it as well. Um, I suggest All right, so now we have the ragots that we took out from that kind I love into here. I always add a little bit of parsley, which is great, and I use fresh parsley. You just chop a little bit up. I add, like to do that. And I add eggs. I don't add, um, you don't have to. I just think it makes it a little bit uh, richer. And what I do is I crack my eggs in a clear container because I'm really bad at cracking eggs and I don't know how come, but I always get a shell in it. So this way, when you go here and you crack it, you'll see, and this is a way to do egg whites too, if you're just doing egg whites. This one, I'm only gonna do a little bit. I'll do maybe that one. I'll do one oak and two egg whites. And then I whip that up and it doesn't matter how you whip it up because it's gonna go right in there. But now I don't know. I, I know there's nobody gonna get a little crack of a shell in there. We're good to. And then I mix that up. And we add some little parsley into it to give it that. And that's that next step of getting the ricotta cheese ready. But nobody really cares because when it's all mixed together, then you just mix it. So it has a nice little yellow flavor and it gets a little bit softer. And that's that part. And then we're gonna cut up a bunch of hunks of mo fresh mozzarella cheese. And again, that usually comes from any pork store. Um, Uncle Giuseppe's, some of the supermarkets have it, but don't buy the ones that are all just in the package that are sitting in that deli. Or all right, whatever. cutting up this little bit of this fresh mozzarella. And of course I'm using the wrong knife, but I'm not gonna cook. There's no, like, I'm not a professional chef. All my cooking is made with love and whatever. I'm so, not it all starts too, you have to have a nice sauce. So if you're a cook and you make your sauce from scratch, that's great, that's another whole video. But um, if not, I add beef, pork, and veal ground. And I cook that in here. I do it beforehand in the sauce and then whatever your sauce is, um, again, Put a very light, try not to get too much meat on the bottom because this is just to coat the um, dish because you want to make sure that the noodles have a little knot, stuff they could stick. And like I said, these noodles, you shake off the little extra that you have and they fit perfect. Look at the size of those noodles. You don't need that many noodles. And just to let you know, like this package, you know, it's not cheap, but you know, you get eight noodles in here. And there you go, two noodles, covers the whole bottom of a dish. And then we add some sauce. Some people put um, chopped up uh, sausage in it. Um, you know, even with the skins, of course, cooked into the sauce. It's not necessary. Um, I kind of don't do that. It's just a personal, personal touch, personal uh, favorite to have the meat. So we have that layer of sauce. Then we take the ricotta cheese that we made up and put some clumps. This does not have to be fancy. This is not like a, you know, an, uh, it's like a natural kind of art project, whatever way you want to do it. You throw that in. You can mix it a little to make sure you have enough in that layer. Um, again, that's a personal preference. I then add a little Romano cheese fresh Romano cheese, grated. I was having the potatoes. Too much work to grate it while you're doing these things. And then a little Parmesan cheese. 
and that adds a little bit. And then I take a couple of pieces of mozzarella. Again, you just break it up. There's no fancy shapes, whatever. It's all gonna melt together. And we add that. And then we just layer the next one on. There you go, next layer. Oops, next layer. And it's so nice because if they're done like this. You can also freeze these kind of noodles, which is also good to know. You have to just let them defrost a little, but they'll defrost within an hour if they were frozen, if you buy a bunch at one time. And you throw another layer of sauce on. You know, sometimes when you have big crowd, you can use a bigger pan and you can freeze lasagna. Um, sometimes it's actually better the next day because it sticks together a little. That was it. We added one more layer, and now the top layer, all I do is put a little bit of sauce on the top, and we're going to cover it then with foil. We're going to bake it in the oven at 325. Go 350, but 325, and it's probably going to take about 35 minutes, but we'll double check that and see how we do, because these are fresh noodles, so they work a little differently and the sauce was already warm so that's the other thing we're going to start with cold sauce and then this way the foil will not stick to it oh my god this thing weighs a ton it's more than a turkey all right Finished lasagna, right? Mm-hmm. 